welcome to the ultimate self-care Sunday guide. So a little bit of context before we begin. I don't know what it is about 2024 so far, but it has put me in such a funk. It's probably just the fact that it's the winter time, but I felt like a shell of a human being recently. And so I've been trying to do a lot of things to better myself. I went to a psychic last week. I deleted all of my social media. That's when you know it's really, really bad. And I've really been trying to have routine in my life. And something that I've developed recently that's been the most helpful is the ultimate self-care Sunday reset day. It's currently 10.15 on Sunday, February 11th. And I'm gonna take you guys along today for the ultimate self-care guide. I genuinely feel rebirthed into the world after I do this Sunday routine. So now I'm gonna show you guys. The first step is to light a candle of your choice. The one that I've been using recently is the Ocean Air and Moss Crackling Wood Wick from Target. I feel like a Victorian English boy when I light my little candle before bed. This just sets the mood, sets the atmosphere. It smells really good. You can hear the little crackling of the fire. Can you hear it? And I literally just keep the candle on until I go to bed. So this thing's gonna be burning for the next two hours. Okay, the next thing I do might be my favorite thing in the entire process is I do a face mask, but a good, nice face mask. I've been loving this Rosy Cheeks Fresh Face Mask from Lush recently. I really enjoy Lush's face masks because they make them fresh. Like this expires after a few weeks, so you have to kind of use it pretty fast. I just go and I apply this with my little fingers. Hi. <laughs> This is it all on. I look a little crazy, but this shit works so well. And I just keep this on my face for like 15 to 20 minutes. While this situation is drying, I make my sleepy girl mocktail. If you don't know what it is, essentially it is drinking tart cherry juice like an hour or two before bed. And it's supposed to be a natural releasant. Is that a word? No. <laughs> It naturally releases melatonin into your brain. And for someone who is afraid of taking melatonin gummies like me, this is perfect. I will say it tastes pretty gross. So I'll do like, I don't know, not much. Then I'll mix it with something. I have been mixing mine with Olipops recently. These sodas are so delicious and knowing that they're healthy is like, ah! so I'm just gonna mix it in there. Whoops. Let's try it together. Mmm. Mm. I have mango in my fridge, so I'm just gonna eat some of that too. Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry, enjoy my little concoction and my fruit, and I'll come back. Oh wait, oh my God, I almost forgot something. I also like to take two magnesium gummies. Again, these aren't melatonin. They're supposed to help you sleep, so. These two will give you the best sleep of your life. Okay, I'll be back when this dries. Welcome to my college dorm bathroom. The mask has masked, the drink has been drunken, and now it's time to take a shower. This is not gonna be a normal shower though. This is gonna be the everything shower of everything showers. I do use a lot of products in the shower when I'm doing my Sunday reset routine. Um, you'll see. I look a little crazy right now. Hi! Get ready for this shower montage. Get ready. Hi, we've entered shower montage mode. So the first thing that I do is I take off that Lush mask. Then I go in with my green tea facial cleanser from You To The People. Guys, this has been a staple in my routine since high school. It's the best facial cleanser ever. Trust me on this one. Then I go in with another staple from high school. This is a coconut shampoo. I have been using this since like freshman year of high school. It makes your hair smell so good and get so soft. Okay, now this is a new addition to my routine, but this is the Way Thick Hair Conditioner. You guys, this makes makes your hair so soft and it smells so bougie. It smells like I'm at a spa. It's so good. Next, I'll just wash my body. I've been using this Dove Vanilla Body Wash recently and I used the African Net Sponge that I bought in my TikTok video and it works so well. So that was a good purchase. Next, I go in with this Vanilla Tree Hut Sugar Scrub and it just exfoliates my skin and it leaves your body so smooth. And finally, you have to use this Lush Bumblebee Shea Bar. It leaves your body feeling like it was dipped in milk. It's so good. Something that shower does is it makes me feel like a brand new person like I literally feel so silky so smooth just like ah uh, I feel so clean also directly out of the shower I put on this um, body lotion from EOS this stuff smells so good and it makes your body feel so soft here I'll put a little more on I literally drench my body in it I don't know how to describe it it's so smooth and it smells so good and the next thing I do is I go in with a thick dab of this Kiehl's ultra face cream this stuff is so nice this stuff is so thick but it melts like right into your face now I brush my teeth I'm trying to become a mouthwash guru so recently I have been mouthwashing mm. 
Okay, so now my mouth is feeling just as clean as my body, which is just amazing. Uh, oh my God. Literally, what am I saying? Actually, what am I saying? Now that my everything shower is complete, we have reached the final step of the Sunday reset. Now, this stuff is not fun. This is like my least favorite step, but it's crucial to having a good week. You need to deep clean your room. Over the week, she gets really, really messy and it's not fun to live in. I have to put away all this laundry, throw things away. I just need to tidy up, so I'm gonna spend like 15 to 20 minutes just cleaning, listening to music, and yeah. That's pretty much today's video. If you need a sign to start doing self-care, do it. Because I honestly do think it's so important to like take care of yourself. <laughs> I really just tried to do a little like sentimental advice, but I'm not good at that. So that's all you're gonna get. That's your good night kiss. Okay. <laughs>